Okay, so we've been uh, telling yes. you since the top of the show, mm -hmm. there's a new phenomena. It's called yeah. Tidying Up with Marie Kondo. It's yes. Netflix's latest hit that a lot of people are binge watching. The show's aim is to help those declutter and spark joy in their life. Yeah. Take a look. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, yeah, I mean, not. Oh, okay. You're sparking joy. It's so hard to let it go. I don't want to just, you know, dump it. I want to be thoughtful about it. Choose item that spark joy for you. Spark joy. It's not as easy as I thought it was going to be. We're on board. We want to change. I just want it to be strong enough to change me. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have chills. Mm -hmm. Well, you heard what I said at the top of the show. What? We saw the preview, and Jim looked at me and was like, maybe that's something you should watch. Well, Jim, calm down. Well, I will say now, this. this. is a team sport. Exactly. All Jim, right. Jim is not in charge of three bedrooms. Like, he doesn't even open a drawer in those little girls' right. rooms. Right. Okay. I do, okay. people. So every now and then, my chair gets a little pile. Everyone yeah. can relate, right, women? Yeah. But it is. I think I, I, think I want to. I need to I think declutter. You be on the show. Listen. Wait, I could be on a show. I on mean, show? I think it'd be very exciting if you were because <sighs> she comes into your house and she's just like a little spark of joy, as she says, Aww. and she gets so excited by people's messes. Oh, yeah, she, and she does. She doesn't speak English, so she has a translator, which is also amazing because then she'll say something and the other person is like waiting, right? And then it goes back and forth. So I've seen a couple of the shows. Have Tell you me. seen them? Let me know. They do empty nesters. They do a woman who's um, recently been widowed, and so she's going through a lot of her things. Yeah. And it really is amazing to see the transformation of not only the home but the relationships within it during the show. Whoa. Yeah. And here's some lessons that we've learned while watching this okay, show. Okay, tell, tell me. Tell you right now. Tell okay, me. the first one is that it's good to brace, embrace change. Okay. okay. All right. I love it. There's Marie Kondo right there. You see her picture, and you just saw her She's in the video. But she also looking. does, um, she does the method that she impl uh, implies, imp uh, implies the right. Implies? No, implies? I don't know. I don't know. What, what <laughs> she does is called the KonMari method. It's very interesting. Like, everything has a soul. So she'll go around, and she'll be like, um, we need to wake these books up. And then she just starts, like, tapping books. Did you know you have to wake your books up? No. Well, I didn't either. And we're but looking at some people there. go home and start tapping your books. Okay. Okay. All but right. change is hard, but change is ultimately good, right? Yes, right. yes. The second one is clutter can affect your relationships more than you think. And this is common in almost every episode in the first season, is that you don't realize how much you're fighting about it. Like, I don't think the couples realize how much, like, weight it's putting on their relationship. Because one is always, like, really wanting to clean the house, and the other one is very attached to everything in the house. I like yeah, a very clean a house. Thing. You know that yeah. I do, uh -huh, uh -huh. but I am a t so I'm a little bit of both. So I think if you went into my house right now, you'd say it was very clean. Right. But I'm also a bit of a pack rat. Sure. I, I really am. I just I can't. I keep birthday cards for several right. several decades. Like, I, oh, I decades. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. I mean, I have cards. I have okay. sentimental things. Sure. And Jim is. I think he probably he probably when we move through things away that I don't know yet. Right. But are you missing them? No. No, because they're not sparking joy. That's right. All right. Okay. That's a good point. All right. The next one is point. ditch what doesn't bring you joy, like I ditch. just said. Yes. Okay. Now, this is a question I have for you. When do you supposed to throw away your holiday and Christmas cards? Because those all bring me joy, but they're just cluttering everything in my kitchen, and I had to throw them away. Mine, but I, I put feel bad because I know how expensive they are. I know. I put mine in this big bowl that nobody really sees okay. in the family room. But when I walk by, I'm like, ah. Oh. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Um, so it brings you joy. So keep them. Maybe till maybe at the end of January. Yeah. I don't know. All right. It's a very. I kept some for years too. Some of those. Sure. In a box. You know, the ones I keep are the ones I'm like their kids' names are so similar that I, sometimes I need to go back and reference. Ah. Oh, you know, and how to spell the kids' huh. names because people get creative with the spelling of names. So you keep them more as a reference. I do. Sometimes. No, but write them in your phone. All right. Let's away the cards. See, look at us. We're decluttering oh, well, our lives. This is crazy. This is crazy. Okay. Okay. This is also interesting because I think a lot of people go into organizing something thinking that they just have to throw everything away. But Marie says it's okay to recognize the sentimental side of stuff. Okay, so see, she's I also do. very big into holding everything, so you have to hold everything. I took this t-shirt of yours from the oh, green room, sorry. Yes, um, t-shirt. You're supposed to hold it, and you're supposed to say, does this bring me joy? Uh, and maybe clean? you need a few minutes with it. Are you, oh, I thought you were going to smell it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't have, is it good? It's good. Everybody's yeah. home smells So this different. shirt does bring me joy. I love this shirt, and I want to show you how to fold it, okay? Okay. Because we're going to do the KonMari oh method gosh. right now. I don't know if you can get this shot. Sorry, I'm throwing a loop for the directors. Okay. But this is what you do. You fold in the sleeves, Yeah. okay? Okay, fold in the sleeves. I worked at Limited Express. Okay, well, <laughs> do you still? <laughs> I did. Do you still have the folding Remember? board? 
No, but I probably should. Right. We should just cut, remember the folding board? Yeah, you don't need it. You don't need it now. You don't need it now. Okay, okay then you fold it in half, like so, okay? Smooth it out. That's kind of what I do. Now you do it in thirds. No. I bet you don't do this. No, I do not I do that. I bet you don't do this. No. Do it in thirds, and then you fold it like this, and then it goes in your drawer, like this is a drawer, as so. Look how neat oh. that is. Oh. Did I blow your mind? Yeah. All right. Okay, Pull so out. then when Look you this. open the drawer, all these little yeah, chunks little of goodness yes. of your clothing goodness. I was goodness. talking to Nadine, and she said she can oh. go to Europe uh, for a week with one carry-on, because she does this. I need to be your friend, Nadine, yep. and hopefully we won't end up yep. in the friend-to-friend -friend segment. <laughs>